Good evening, Robert Scribbler. It is July 16th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, we're going to talk about a subject that has been a mystery of science for some time, but according to new research in the geophysical research letters, the mystery has been solved. And this mystery involves the phenomenon known as noctilucent clouds, luminous clouds that appear high up in the um, middle layers of the Earth's atmosphere that are visible oftentimes just after sunset as the sun ray, sun's rays are, are captured by the ice crystals floating in these clouds and reflected back to the Earth during early nighttime. Now, noctilucent clouds were, were first recognized as, as a formation after, following Krakatoa during the 19th century, the Krakatoa eruption. And these cloud formations caused wonder and amazement around the world. During recent years, noctilucent clouds have been forming more and more often and have become increasingly visible. And ever since that time, there's been some speculation among weather and climate observers that these increasingly frequent and increasingly prevalent noctilucent cloud formations were caused by human-caused climate change because the increased prevalence was occurring in correlation with global warming. Now what the new study has found, and I'm reading from uh, the AGU, uh, a recent press release. The new study found that, actually, actually the new study was used satellite observations and climate models to simulate how the effects of increased greenhouse gases from burning fossil fuels have contributed to noctilucent cloud formations over the past 150 years. Extracting and burn burning fossil fuels delivers carbon dioxide, methane, and water vapor into the atmosphere, all of which are greenhouse gases. Now, in the case of Krakatoa, Krakatoa hurled a huge amount of water vapor into the upper atmosphere. And and this resulted in a, a temporary burst of noctilucent cloud formation. But what the new study suggests is that methane emissions primarily have increased water vapor concentrations in the atmosphere by about 40% since the late 1880s, which has more than doubled the amount of ice that forms in the mesosphere where we see the formation of noctilucent clouds. And according to the study in geophysical research le uh, letters, human activities are the main reason why noctilucent clouds are significantly more visible now than they were 150 years ago. In other words, human greenhouse gas emissions, primarily through fossil fuel burning, is increasing the amount of water vapor in the upper atmosphere and the extraction of fossil fuels is increasing the amount of methane in the atmosphere as are some of the more prevalent industrial farm practices and this is leading to a an increasing blanket of of high level clouds in the mesosphere now this particular mystery has been solved and i'm going to go ahead and just look at uh, one of the graphics from the study showing how Measure measurements were, were conducted and, and where the noctilucent clouds form as opposed to typical stratospheric clouds. So they're, very, they're rather high up here in the, in the mesosphere. And there's been some speculation, some, some conjecture that, that high level cloud formation may produce an amplifying feedback to human caused climate change, meaning that an increased blanket of noctilucent clouds will trap more long wave radiation and, and aid in enhancing the greenhouse effect. 
but this conclusion has has not yet been or a conclusion on that speculation has not yet been determined by the science and so there will be further research on noctilucent clouds and and it might be something that that affects our future understanding of climate sensitivity and and something that that can go into our climate sensitivity models since for a long period of time the understanding of how clouds affect the climate has been one of those areas that that's that's a bit less well understood so to sum up a new study in geophysical research letters has found that the increasing prevalence of luminous upper level or i'm sorry middle level atmospheric high, high level cloud formation known as noctilucent clouds is a result of human caused climate change thank you for joining me and i will chat more with you soon